This year, as our Navy celebrates its 244th birthday, we also celebrate the 75th anniversary of the victory at the Battle of Leyte Gulf. In Leyte Gulf, which this cruiser was named after, the U.S. Navy dealt a decisive blow to the Imperial Japanese Navy. This battle eliminated the Japanese Navy as an effective fighting force and allowed General MacArthur's army to liberate the Philippines. The Battle of Leyte Gulf, which lasted four days, was the largest sea battle in modern history. And what it gives today's sailors is multiple examples of heroism in action, which they can emulate as we once again face the great battle for sea power. From October 23rd to 26th, the U.S. Navy's goal was to take back the Philippines from Japan and secure their hold in the Pacific Theater. What ensued was multiple smaller, widely separated engagements that made up the larger Battle of Leyte Gulf. While there were several lessons to learn, the Battle of Leyte Gulf had one common thread, heroism in action. The sailors' service in harm's way ultimately led to Japan's defeat. The idea of no higher honor draws upon the extraordinary service and sacrifice of the sailors who fought the greatest sea battle in history. Lieutenant Commander Robert Copeland commanded USS Samuel B. Roberts. Commander Copeland would later recount the Battle of Leyte Gulf, extolling the valor of his crew in the face of such overwhelming odds, stating that there was no higher honor than the privilege to serve such a crew. When we made the decision to put our right hand up and swear an oath to the United States Navy, we took on the mission of preserving global peace and protecting those who cannot protect themselves. We became part of a tradition that has been built by countless generations of other sailors who made the same commitment and promise that we did. And most importantly, we picked up the torch. We continued what they started. We picked up where they left off. Every day we put on our coveralls, our tight threes, our dress uniform. We create an even greater generation for any person who decides to join the United States Navy, which is why there is no higher honor than being a part of the United States Navy. I am honored to serve in the United States Navy. The Navy has entrusted us to protect all of the sailors around the world and their families back home. But without our past, we would have no future. I think back to the 75 years ago to our predecessors who sailed these same waters we travel today and the sacrifices they made to make this the greatest Navy in the world. I am honored to grow in a field that is mission oriented and combat ready at all times. To succeed in my craft of saving lives and to maintain their health by providing medical care to my shipmates who are deployed so they can continue to fight for our freedom. Like the brave sailors who fought and sacrificed their lives for our future. Without the crew, I would have no purpose. And without the proper training and the overwhelming strength of my shipmates, we could not achieve our mission every day. I salute them and I am proud of the task handed to me. There is no higher honor than to serve in the United States Navy. Although we can't be there to join you in the celebration, we wish the Navy a happy 244th birthday.